most folk are too fucking soft to train you. Don't work hard enough. Don't want to work hard enough. I'm with my main man, stand up coach, strength conditioning, and everything else in here. So, this is Dave's, <laughs> this is Dave's little home here. This is, here. Little this is, this is, this is the hostel. So, like I say, I'll just let Dave introduce what he's going to do for the session. But like I say, top man with everything else. Anyone wanting any to gain strength, anything like that, you know, boxing one to one, this is a man who's over 30 years' experience. And, you know, these are the sort of guys that we need and, uh, around us and in our corner because they only want the best for us. So, if anyone's wanting to get into that, this is your man. So I'll just let Dave talk with what we're going to do today. So it's looking a bit untidy today because it was a big session. Don't in the make it out that it's always tidy. <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes a little bit tidy. It's here from this morning, so we'll have to have a jig about. We're going to do some speed stuff today, some dynamic deadlifts, dynamic box squats, uh, a little bit of jumping, and then we'll crack on with some boxing stuff. Awesome. So I'll let you see that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go like a full sit down at the box, take you away. And accelerate on me. This is a lot different to what I've ever done, and this is why it's so important when you're getting into something new that you're all ears and you're listening to the people around you. Because being a bodybuilder, it's all always about being in control of the weights and slowing everything down and make sure you tear every muscle fibre. But when we're in here, we, we, you know, when you're wanting performance. You know, it's got to be explosive, hasn't yeah. it? It's got to be, you know, everything's got to be for the purpose of what you're doing. I see, we see rugby lads a lot, don't we? Lovely. Like a lot, I think locally around here, to be honest with you, doing like bodybuilder splits and, you know, you want to be swerving that, to be honest with you, you want to be making sure that you're, you're nice and strong and explosive for what Training you're for doing. Training for athleticism and yeah. not aesthetics. Exactly, exactly what we just said. Training for what you need and, you know, don't be wasting your time with yeah. something that you just see, you think's working and it's not really. Spread your knees as wide as you can. Yeah. Keep it short in the moment, I mean. This is I'm so used to keeping yeah. it on. Completely different, isn't it? Yeah, but boom! It yeah. As fucking hard as you can. Yeah. And again, this keep all the back room tight like you fucking what? Right, isn't it? Yeah. And tighten the core. Breathe and brace when you're bodybuilder. You know what? Breathing, I would always, when I was bodybuilding, I just obviously. Um, Coming down, getting my breath, yeah. and then exploding. Yes. Oh, again. Again, different. <laughs> Take my breath, and again, like it's not like it's not like tense in your abs. Fucking edit this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like tense. Authentic self. This is what we like. Yeah. I will fill my belly with air, like in abdominal bit. pressure, like a cork can. Yeah. So. <sighs> as tight in as you can. You know, I'll tell you what to wrap your wrists as well as we get down. But yeah, there, there, that's it. That's a better position, isn't it? Yeah. So step it back, spread them for you to be. This is the most satisfying noise you'll yeah. ever have in your life. Oh, well, that smells like hard work. Aiden loads of the plates with the numbers to the outside. I load the plates with the numbers to the inside. It's designed to be held like that with four fingers under your rim. Like you could, it's not as comfy like that with your thumbs under the rim. That's how you hold it. So it goes on a bar and off a bar, like that. So if you've got OCD, still turn it inside out. And honestly, like, some lads in here, like, if you load a plate wrong, 
They'll take it off when you have somebody loads it the wrong way around. Curly. Yeah. They'll take it off and put it back on right away. It's a, I know people <laughs> preserve like that, you know. Mental. Here's some coils, all right. Bare floor room. This is why squat is important. So if you foot position when you squat, I will fight here. Don't squat here. Come close here. Fight in there. Squat in there. So if you're in your foot position, you'll be very similar to your fighting position. And that's where your balance will be. Yeah. Course, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm still learning. Like, I'm like, there's different sorts of there's different sorts of strength, isn't there? Course, you know what I mean? Like, so I like Ash Chambers comes forward, doesn't he? I love picking Ash's yeah. hands because he's been in there a long time, and I'm learning bits off him. I'm learning bits off exactly. him. Exactly. So you can't like you can't never get comfortable in what you're doing. Like even when you you think you know, just learn yeah, something. Yeah, you still expand yourself. Because there's you. different sorts of strength. Um, that people, you know, depending on what you're doing, what you need to be trying, or even just trying something new, isn't it? Of course it is. Like, you know, so many, like, I've got a lot of female clients that yeah. come, and they never think like that, like I tell them, like, it's like about powerlifting and stuff all over it, and they pull a bit of a face, and they think they're going to end up massive and jacked in six weeks. We all wish it was that easy, they're going to get massive and jacked in six weeks. Yeah. And they come in, and honestly, they all come in, like, wanting to perk your bum, or want to lose a little bit of weight like that. We've been two or three weeks, they all want a bigger squat, they all want a bigger deadlift, they all want a bigger bench. Yeah. And they're bothered about strong, not skinny. They're bothered about how they feel and how they perform, and not just what they look like in the mirror. You know, people under training because they think that, like, they have this stereotypical that like, if I lift big weights, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go like a female bodybuilder, yeah. or, you know, you know, eat the proper food, train the proper ways, and you'll look how you want to look like. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Tailor what you do to what you do. Exactly. And you'll be all right, won't you? Exactly. You know, it's like, you're not a bodybuilder anymore, you're a fighter now. Exactly. So we're training like a fighter now. You can't train like a bodybuilder no. anymore, it won't work. Yeah. And um, you know, like, like we said, the rugby lads, that you need to train to move, to explore, to, to, to be an athlete, yeah. not just to look good in your tight chest. I see lads sometimes in the gym and that squatting. Uh, nah, I'm I'm cringing at like we got you've got to make sure everything's yourself. right, body yeah. mechanics and everything. Right? Like, if you're leaning forward in, into a squat, you know, like Dave said before, you go, you need to make sure everything's round. Yeah. You know, yeah. so like in, the, in a proper low bar back squat, you'll see a lot of forward in the powerlifting squat, but the body's still nice and straight, and the body sinks between hips. Yeah. It goes there. You, obviously your body's going to go somewhere, yeah. but what you don't want is when you see people in commercial gyms and they try to swallow the feet too close together. There's no way for your body to go. If you haven't, if you haven't got the mobility to just like sink in, like and not everybody has, especially when you start out, like they get to here and they start to pitch, because you're pitching forward with the body back, you start to cheat yourself. You don't get anywhere near your depth and you stand up and you think you've done a squat. Oh, you can split your feet a bit. That's your body sink between your legs. Your body can still press. Yeah. That's it, that's the way. Set to do then six. six yeah. Took it to my six one to get it right. Yeah, to, to get it right to get the feel for it. So, like it's it's this having this thing just to just keep going. You know what yeah, I mean? Things not happen. Right <laughs> it doesn't happen right, right away. All the time. If you're not gonna go from struggling with something to it looking perfect, yeah, because you've done another rep or another three or four reps, 
It's a slow process, isn't it? Yeah. It's a long game. It's a patience and it's as well, isn't it? Tiny incremental gains, isn't it? Yeah. And that's all you're looking at doing, because if you get a tiny little bit better every week, every day, whatever, one day you'll be awesome, won't Yeah. Like that, I uh, it would always be like that because it gets heavy. Because I, I want it exactly because yeah, it gets heavy. Before it, it. Yeah. before it comes off the deck, I'm gonna see you waiting. Feel that. So, as a pull, there was no clink, there shouldn't be any of that. Yeah. You know, like, once you get fatigued, you lose the quality, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. You Like we were doing with them rocks the other day. That's it. Like well, when you go to big stores, it's gone. Yeah, you've only got so many digs in, haven't you? Yeah. That's why you only have three lifts in powerlifting, because to be fair, most folk are cooked after that. Once yeah. you get three big singles. And that's why, again, when our oh, bodybuilding, like, you do the heaviest first. Ah, that's right. It's just, like if you try well, that's to. That's what we do on like a yeah, last day. You try. Trying well, to push I mean, like, your weight up, you know, you've got to use your energy to <coughs> got it, haven't you? Max squat bench or deadlift, whatever we do, you max out first, we get to the beginning, it takes a while to get to build up the, and then all the assistance stuff comes out for that. Yeah. And it, But it's all the assistance stuff as well, like for the lifting side, for the power lifting and that. That's what builds a bit of muscle and that's what like gives you some of the strength along the way, the support and muscle. Yeah. You know, you build the power side with the speed stuff and the actual, the big numbers. And then all the accessory stuff, that gives you like the support and muscle mass and that to go with. Yeah. Obviously the good thing is for you, we can fucking forget about that support and muscle mass stuff, <laughs> can't we? Because there's fucking bags of it. <laughs> this this has never been a dead busy gym. No. It's never been a dead full gym. It'll never be a dead busy or full gym. Because most folk are too fucking soft. Yeah. That, that, there you go. Most folk are too fucking soft to train here. Don't work hard enough. Don't want to work hard enough. Never Just hide the real. Can't name. put the graft in. <laughs> can't act the day to day graft. And so they quit. It's the, mostly in there in the fighting bit. People think they want to be fighters. They can't fucking act being fighters. You're the one percent if you make it. If you become a fighter and you have a few fights and do some of, you like the well, you're less than the one percent. If you're any sort of serious hard trainer athlete who achieves something, you're less than the one percent. We want the one percent. Yeah. My goal, I want to be in here when I'm 113 years old, because I started lifting weights when I was 13, and I just want to be able to sit on the chair in the corner and swing and disagree with Jan there and shout at him, I've been doing this for 100 fucking years! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's my life goal. So then get your grip and pull that slack out and then hit it hard. Put 70% of your attention through it and then hit it hard. Attention at the one because you feel you clean, yeah. You clean, and that's like it's happens sometimes. Like with a big and I like to just grip it and rip it, I just like to drop it, boom, and it feels as hard as I can. But it's a very sort of fine line between managing to do that and hit it really hard off the bottom and somehow taking that for the slack out, yeah. I've the shortest arms in the world, and the world shit is dead. If look at where my arms finish if I'm stood here, I want my arms to finish here. Yeah. To make my levers longer, to get closer to the bar. That is still locked out. I don't need to be here. So, make sure the round for that come round. Yeah. Get you closer to the bar. And then put your chest up there. Fine and it's like with anything, isn't it? It's fine tuning. That's why you've got to be doing stuff for a long time, isn't it? And again, <laughs> back to the old bodybuilding, like I would do these like this 
right? And do it. I would feel everything because I'm trying to. I'm trying to break down. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right, sir. And this is the difference with performance. Hence, why I've come here. Do you know what I mean? I'm wanting to increase my performance, my power. So it's like it ain't about doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result because I was doing something different. So you got to listen, tune in, and make sure you do everything right with the correct takers. And you'll get a different form of strength, different form of power. Tech is everything, more, in everything. More suited to what you're doing. Again, the support and muscle mass stuff, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. We can just worry about the performance with you, can't we? Some people, like, you know, some of our young kids in the gym, they still need to do a bit more assistance stuff and just give that general sort of, that general level of strength in there. The base. But, like, with lads like Aiden, who's done a lot of serious sports for a long time, we just have to fine tune it all now. We yeah. just have to taper it all towards fighting and make sure. That we're not wasting energy, not doing anything that we don't need to do, not not sort of causing fatigue and, and hampering his recovery. Training optimally, because that's the thing as well. Training has to be optimal. I know I'm saying about people not being able to train hard enough and being shit bags and stuff, but like it's not just about going balls out all the fucking time. It's about going balls out at the right time. And not going balls out at the right time, things have got to be optimal. If you just go smash, 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 you'll never recover. change your pace yeah you know like you just pop them rather than they've got the explosion and that's definitely what you've got isn't it and yeah. that's what we're looking that for. explosion that we want is just like just too hard to deal with her yeah you do know what i mean yeah. and like when it's when it's put on someone when it, i just want it I, to be honest with you i'm just going to keep it i want it to be done quick so i can go on <laughs> <laughs> and keep my face in check <laughs> but that won't happen it's already it's already it's already brock already cut We've only been doing it six months, haven't we? This mark, this mark, come. I've got, I've got. You can't say I've got five stitches in there. If you're one of my best mates, that was an head kick. Got me cheekbone broke, had my nose broke loads of times. Fat sticky out of ears, just generally a big old ugly head. <laughs> From the eyes getting punched and kicked in it. Guilty of hate on PTs. I was, like my original Instagram thing said I'm not a PT because I'm not I'm a coach. Yeah. Um, I, and that thing because when you scroll through Instagram from my end of it, like as a slightly older lad who's done serious sports for a while, I look at these things on Instagram and a lot of these coaches, and I just think you are a fucking drip, and you're fucking useless, and you're getting people to do nothing. Yeah. And that, that is what I thought about all PTs to be honest, because that's what I see. Apologies, some of you PTs out there, obviously my man is he's not the only good one, I'm sure there are good ones, but there's a lot of people that just pander to clients, that just say, oh, you don't have to work hard, because they want clients. Do you know what? If you don't want to work hard, don't fucking come to me, guys, because I want people to work hard, I expect people to work hard. If you're not going to work hard, I don't want you in my gym, but I do guarantee that you'll make progress and you'll get results. I, I, I say it as, as an energy, because I, when I get a client, I want to bounce energy off, yeah. off each other because if you're if I'm giving you energy and you're progressing, then we're getting energy back and forth. But if you're checking in every week with the same bullshit, like you know what I mean? After two weeks, I will sack you. Yeah. I don't want you with me. Like I don't care if you paid me for the year. If you're not doing what I've said after you know a certain amount of time, like obviously we're gonna have things going on in life and things like that. But just remember that. You know, in order to progress, you've got to work hard. Um, it requires effort. It, it requires effort. I won't be, you know, patting you on the back, telling you it's okay, because I didn't get that. Unless I wouldn't be here in this gym, it, I would not be here. You know what I mean? You've got, to, you've got to have the mind frame to really stick it out and obviously, you know, expect to put in a little bit of graft and expect some weeks, right, that your best isn't acceptable sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because how do you find 
that you know the the limit that you need to overcome to be better. Do you know what I mean? You might think it's one thing, but your coach will always have another limit for you, and, it, and it's not because he wants to beat you down or anything like that. Because he wants to build them up. Because he wants to build you up. Them, yeah. But two people are. I think nowadays uh, people get a bit of criticism, and it's like, oh well, I won't do that again. I'll give up. You know what I mean? People will. People will give you some constructive criticism, and you've got to just jump on board with it. That's what you use. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then take your sleep. Yeah, stop for a job there. And then take your sleep. If you jab at me, then I jab at you, and you see you're sleeping now, and now the right time comes. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy that one.